the problem that I see is the people who are now trashing, you know, like they're kind of like trying to influence other people to not uh, to not do it. I think it's okay. If you don't want to register for whatever reason, you don't. But here's the thing that people need to understand. All those things that people are asking for, be it online voting, mail-in voting, right now we can't do it because it's the law. The only time you might need your ID and you don't necessarily even need, you know, like your physical ID. If you, you have don't. the ID number it's or the, yeah. is if you're changing stations, people who registered after 2012, 2012. Yeah. when when the because everybody who voted before that, the voter roll was purged. Yeah. So people who voted from 2012 uh, or rather who registered from 2012 are considered to be changing stations yeah. because the stations right. in the diaspora are new. Mm -hmm. So they, you will need the ID that you registered with. Uh, and then they'll use your passport now to register you to vote uh, to vote in the in, in the, the diaspora. diaspora. Again, like I said, I can understand you know like people who are far and maybe they can't afford the fare or maybe they just don't have the time so. to come and do it. That's understandable. To me, what's what's really coming as a shocker to me is people who you know like who have been literally complaining for a very long time. And they are close, you know, like they're within an hour, an hour and a half of these locations, but they're still expressing, you know. Or like, if you're in New York and it's right there, up or two. Yeah, and to me, to me, it's okay if you don't want to register. The problem that I see is the people who are now trashing, you know, like they're kind of like trying to influence other people to not, uh, to not do it. I think it's okay if you don't want to register for whatever reason, you don't. But here's the thing that people need to understand. All those things that people are asking for, be it online voting, mail-in voting, right now we can't do it because it's the law. You know, like the law yeah. doesn't allow for that. Even in the U.S., in the spaces where that's done, those states, remember in the U.S., electoral law is by state. So there's certain states that have allowed, you know, like the mail-in voting. And, and don't forget there are some states that are trying to do away with mail-in ballot. They're exactly. Trying to, they're trying to do away with that. Yeah. So, by so passing legislation. By legislation. So mm. the current law doesn't allow. Now, if we want a law that allows us to get these conveniences, we must register in big numbers. Because if we register in small numbers, you know, the numbers were very paltry, you know, like in that first, uh, the first weekend, it started on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That first weekend, the numbers were very like about 30 for the D. The yeah, there were 30 office. something for the DC office, like 15 for LA. Yeah. You know, it was very ugly numbers. So I, I'm, I'm hoping it's just that people we didn't know or are planning to come in later. We want to see. I think the new numbers are gonna be revealed. I think mm. uh, on Monday. Mm. Uh, so so we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting to see those. Uh, and uh, and uh, and and I also see you know like a um, couple of questions coming in here. Um, uh, someone is asking, can we vote for MCS too? No, we can only vote for the president. This is only gonna be a presidential election. So. The only people the diaspora currently are allowed to vote for right? are presidents, and if there's a referendum, yeah, yeah, we'll be allowed to vote uh, in a in a referendum. Yeah, but 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 yeah, you know, like I, I I mean I get it, you know, like people who are at a distance or are not in a position to vote, but to me the 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 part that's that's a bit that's that's disturbing me a bit, and 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 I'm still trying my best to understand the numbers is is not even the numbers. It's just the people who are that one. who are you know like uh, like openly apathetic and giving you know like all kinds of excuses that don't make sense to me. If you don't want to vote, that's okay. Don't vote. But then those excuses, they they they're just not uh, they're just not making sense. But but I'm gonna lay the blame kidogo on IBC also in the manner in which they engaged diaspora. They did not. Um, they did not seek to figure out Agreed. who are the people who can mobilize here, the people who can influence, and the people who can notify people that you're out here. They mostly engaged with these so-called diaspora groups, 
and these diaspora groups are very good at, at or they engage do you they, belong to any diaspora group that uh, you know of they that engage they engage with no i know i know no, because did you and do, do you you yourself personally belong to any of those groups that they engaged because me i'm not I don't know the definition of belong, but I mean some of those WhatsApp groups. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mean they, some. Of, they, I mean, they, I mean they, some okay, of those but, WhatsApp but groups. But the groups that they are talking about were not even WhatsApp groups. These were like, uh, like organizations, right? Those so, the those, so-called organizations. Those organizations. Then those are the ones that I'm telling you are WhatsApp groups. Yes, they brand themselves as organizations. No, oh, okay. But they're really WhatsApp like, like, groups. Like for, for okay, for instance, you know, I'm not not picking uh, Ninis, and maybe if I say this, somebody's gonna come after me, but. Uh, like for instance, Quitu is not necessarily a WhatsApp group, right? No, Quitu is not, and Quitu and, and that's yeah. one of the groups that they engaged, yes. right? Yes, that's right. But if you're doing that, you're only you're only hitting a certain uh, demographic, mm -hmm. because again, it's only women, you know, they are yada yada yada, and so on and so forth. But that's great that they they did that, right? I don't think they engaged with any churches that we know of. I I could be wrong. So, I mean, so, we had them so, here. So they claim they claim they did. They claim they did, but 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 my my thing is there was there was some requirements that they had mm -hmm. to groups that they engage in terms of you know like uh, the reach, you, not necessarily the reach, but but you had to you had to write you know like a certain letter in them. You had to give you know there were certain things that you had to give. So the people who actually have reach here in the diaspora are not going to waste their time doing that. IBC should have been here or maybe they should have hired people from here to try and figure out who they need to talk to because now what ended up happening is that uh those groups they engaged in i think now is when they're the, realizing the ghost groups yeah these are ghost groups these are mm -hmm. whatsapp groups that you're you're mostly engaging yeah. in and, and 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 not to discredit them they've done a lot of work in pushing ibc to actually bring this uh diaspora registration correct so, so we can't so, so so we can't discredit them and they're having that. a registration drive in general even yes. even in in in, in kenya mm -hmm. and so there's been also a lot of ads yeah. in kenya for the diaspora stuff but the, that would also mean that somebody who's in the diaspora has to be engaged with enough with kenya to even get to the point where you're watching things and even waiting for the ads to come up which not necessarily a lot. I mean, yes, we do engage, you know, on YouTube watching, say, Citizen, K24, blah, 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 and all, and all of that. But I, I still think, I'm with you, Ali, they, the job they did was very, very poor. But remember also, the problem, the thing is, Kenya, the difference between Kenya and here is that here, registration can only happen on Kenyan soil. I, I get what you're saying. Right? Yes, and in no, no, Kenya, I, I get what you're saying. But it's all over the place. But, the, but there's yeah, also a limited time. But the, yeah, you're right. But the whole point of it, what we're trying to say is that if the word had gotten out even in time, like let's say for instance, they knew that they were going to be coming here in January. Right. Right. And if they had started engaging people in November, again, okay, I don't I know. I don't know when this so decision was saying. made. So, but so, I so think there were not. There, there was a decision they, they made. Not, right? They were not even clear. Initially, they were supposed to come. The original announcement was they were supposed to come in November. And then it changed to December. So they were not they were not even sure. They were not even sure. But by the time the announcement was coming with certainty that uh that they will be registering people in the diaspora from January twenty first to February to 4th, February fourth. Which goes to January. Right? That announcement came in January. It came in January. That announcement came in January because by January, the time we're yes. going to Kenya There was nothing. There was nothing. And the whole time when we were in Kenya, there was nothing. We yes. were watching the T V ads, mm. all that in the yeah, newspaper. It, it wasn't in there. In fact, we're living with uncertainty because I was saying, you know, like what's gonna happen, you know, like if we're traveling in Kenya in December and that's the time that they decide to come here and register people and when Kenya and, and and now we actually learn that you can actually if you're in Kenya and you want to vote in the diaspora, you can actually go to GPO, uh, Huduma, yeah. and there's a special kit for, for that. But I think, you know, like there was a problem, you know, like when it came to that uh, communication, it was kind of last minute. So so, so there, there are some justifications, you know, like uh, with, uh, with some people. And then the window, you know, has also been very... Has also been it's very narrow, narrow, especially for someone who wants and, to travel. And the other thing that I also found out that some of the stations that they did announce that they were actually going to, they actually never went to. For instance, London doesn't have anything. In fact, they cancelled it. Wait a minute. Yes, London has not registered. Uh, Hawana, Aiko. Oh, I'm, Aiko. I'm, and I'm, then, uh, and I think was it in UAE as well? They, so there's like there's some places that even though they're so on the far, list, Hawana, let even, let's say so far, so far, even Hawana. on the yeah, which means they may have to extend. Okay. Because it seems like for whatever reason, maybe IABC could not 
get it together or whatever. We don't know. We really don't know. But there are some stations that they have announced that are supposed to be diaspora, uh, to have diaspora registration, and they're just not there. You know, so there's, there's some things that they could improve. Bottom line of it for me is that they are here. People take advantage. Uh, if you decide to lalia maskio, ni shariako. Now, le- le- let's see. There's some questions here. Ben Aketch is asking when is the deadline for voter registration in D.C.? That's uh, February the 4th. And it's not only D.C., by the way. So it, I don't know where Ben Aketch is, uh, but if, if they're, you know. New if York. In New LA. York, L.A. And uh, where is it? And, uh, and here, D.C. Now, if you're closer, obviously, to the Canadian side, you can also go to, uh, was it Vancouver and where else? Vancou- I think it was Vancouver places, and right? to- Toronto and yes. Ottawa. Yes. You know, so if you live close to the Canadian border, uh, you can actually Vuka Yeah, border. Vuka Mpaka. Just yeah. make sure that uh, you're not using uh, one mic's passport and uh, you look like somebody <laughs> different. Yeah, just make sure me hassle you chin if you look at your border. But, but I, have, I have a question. Yes, yes. Mika. Yes. So, uh, are the, regist- the registration centers going to be the, the voting centers? Yes. yes, yes. That's what... Um, they will then, yes, they'll they'll turn them around. Once this period is over, they'll, they'll gazette them now as voting centers. Yes, that's what IBC confirmed, uh, and and part of the reason, you know, because a lot of people are wondering why, uh, you know, like they're not taking this stations, online, or... uh, you know, like or, or even even the physical, because because there's a physical. The first thing about the law is that there's a physical requirement in Kenya, meaning you have to show up physically to register mm-hmm. so that yeah. your biometrics can be picked up, and you have to physically show up to vote. Yes. Because you have to be verified through biometrics, so that's the yes, law. verification yes. through yeah. fingerprint. Yes. So the other, the, the second thing about you know, like, uh, like uh, the law, you know, like right now, the only polling stations gazetted in the diaspora are embassies and consulates. So even if IBC wanted to go to you know, like uh, Dallas or wanted to go it to Kansas, to Kenyan soil. you know, like the the law doesn't allow them to do that. It doesn't. It doesn't allow them to do that. This law has to be changed now. There's another uh, definition that was brought by uh, by Joyce Ekwam, the director of voter education, which which I which I I was like I'm gonna go back and research it, that, that aspect of Kenyan soil, the aspect of it has to be on Kenyan soil and the embassy is Kenyan soil. I I, I really don't think uh, you know that's something that I'm gonna go check and maybe if Pablo, one of our legal experts, was here could explain. But uh, I think as long as a, a location has been gazetted, gazetted yes. it does not have to be a consulate. It does not have to be an embassy. As mm-hmm. long as it's I, been gazetted. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, so so I think those are the things that we are. And then there's some people who are also challenging IBC, saying that uh, there's nowhere where it, it explicitly says that you can't do, you know, like uh, you cannot register people through e-citizen and all that stuff, because there was that suggestion, you know, like, because a citizen has already collected our biometrics, so we use that, you know, like, to double up also as, um, as, as, as registration. So, so yeah. So, Mika, I hope uh, that answered your question. Mika? Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. Uh, so, here, here, comments, those, comments. The, 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 there's some comments here, you know, like, uh, Atieno saying, uh, at the engage, quitum mimi si kuona. Uh, Wali engage Akina Nani, uh, and then I think uh, there was a response here. Uh, yeah. uh, Brown Sugar says they did a Zoom thing. I think uh, Lily had posted something about it, uh, and then Atieno says Sasa they can't even get the acts together regarding registration. How can I expect my vote to count? I spend money to book air uh, tickets to uh, to go uh, to go register, go vote. I love in the end from Sijui Gani. Haik was signed and therefore votes are <laughs> nullified. Uh, Apana Kenya, Kenya Siango. So, so this is this is the thing that I'm going to tell you, Atieno, uh, and, and and so many other people who and I can understand. You know, Kamo Kombali. You know, you don't want to spend. You know, like uh, the five hundred dollars. I understand. You know, uh, also choosing not to register, and also choosing not to vote, is also a choice, and that's what a lot of people don't realize. It's a choice that you're making. For the people you don't want, you know. At the end of the day, I know it's very popular to say this thing. All things are the same, you know. Like, uh, it's not gonna make any difference. I mean, if you've been living in Kenya, you know, like through the '90s, uh, through the 2000s, and to where we are today, I think if you say, you know, like, uh, voting doesn't make a difference, I think that's just 
it's 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 a peer pressure it's a peer pressure terminology that people like to use to me it reminds me of the time you remember before before trump became president you know like when there was also voter apathy amongst democrats and the people are like oh you know they're all the same it's not going to make a difference guess what we learned in those four years they are going to be very two different outcomes and this is the other thing you know like we are not going to we're not telling people who to vote for we're not telling you who to vote for but the thing that is very clear is that uh the candidates that we have i know people like saying they're the same but typically they are very different you know i remember you know like uh in the in the run up to the 2002 in, elections in 254 or, two, or here no in 254 here they're, they're very the same, different they're same candidates they no they're, they're, no i'm saying that i'm talking about the individuals who are running you know like comparing them they're different people we we will get very different outcomes and 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 this is going back to 2002 I want to go back to 2002 because I was still in Kenya then and uh, I remember it was run up to the Kibaki election and there was a lot of people who were saying, you know, Kibaki served uh, under the Kanu government for so many years. He served under Moe for so many years. He's the same. But guess what? After his presidency, we realized that this guy, yes, he might have been friends with this guy. They might have been drinking together. They might even have been dating the same girlfriend. But that essentially... The outcomes, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not talking about good and bad. I'm just saying the outcomes are going to be different. Mm -hmm. Just the same with the people who are pathetic, you know, like when Hillary and Trump were running and they're like, I don't need to register. It doesn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. Guess what? Hillary may not have been, you know, like uh, but for an the longest, angel. But for the longest, Kibaki was out with the, was out with the, with, with the Moan. So you say that again? Kibaki, yeah, for a while, for a long time, for a very long time, was out, was out with M1, because he was his pre he was his, he was his deputy for a while, he was his deputy and until he was and then he was steward. He was yeah, his he deputy was. until he after, got fired. Where, yeah. where was he fired? Until he got fired. That was I think that was right before the nineteen ninety two, uh, the nineteen ninety two election. So after that, he had always been on the outs. Correct. Which but, was ten years. But, but, but you see, years. but you see, okay, let me say something, Uno. This no, no, is, no, 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 no. But, but let, let me let me just say just something. To provide context. But let me say something. But but I think this is some of the, for lack of a better word, this is some of the excuses that people it's, are it's trying an, to it's use. Not an excuse. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about you. But I'm saying generally, these are the excuses that people are trying to use to justify not registering. Now, oh, what no, I no, said, no, 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 no. I can understand. I can understand. You know, like if you're living far. I can understand if maybe you just don't want to register because you don't want to feel cold, you don't want to go outside and feel cold. I can understand. But to me, it's these justifications that things things are going to be, these people are the same. No, these people, to be they're honest, the same. they're actually not the same. Have, no, and they will give us different outcomes. I'm not saying one will be better than the other, to prove, but they're going to give us very different outcomes. To prove my point, yeah, Kibaki was out with M1 for a long time. Right or wrong? No, you're right. It was it, Kiki Baki. When I say for a long time, I mean they they fell out and you know they they fell out. That's fine. He was he was he was, he was no longer VP for a while. Right or wrong? Kibaki didn't even walk out. Kibaki mm. is one of those, and that's the reason why they had they, there was there was there was some very nasty names. The reason there is some a, very nasty names you know is, that they had for him. Yes, because him he stayed. He said even when people were fighting for yes. multipartism, he wasn't there. Him, he showed up. Yelling, and then and then he showed up. And 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 and, and I understand I understand where, where where you're trying where you're trying to bring this. Where am I? Why? I understand where you're trying to bring this. You're trying to say that, that that there was a separation between when Kibaki left uh when Kibaki left uh the Moi government and when he became president. But the reality is that this guy spent, um, you know, like, uh, since independence, he was a minister. Before and, independence. And, and, yes, and, agreed. And, and and he spent, you know, like, since 1978, when Moi became president. Mm -hmm. He spent, actually, he was in Gava since 12, 1950. He spent, like, 12, 13 years, you know, like, as Moi's vice president yes. and, and the finance minister. Yes. So, but my point is, but until despite, despite, despite all that, even while he was with him, even in 1992, 
you know, like while he was running for president. Yes. You know, so let's Democratic let's assume. Democratic Party. Let's assume. Let's assume Kibaki won the 1992 uh, election, There's despite a... having just come off of Moi's government, he would still have been a very different person from Moi, despite being 12 years with him. That's what I'm trying to say. Votes with M1 for a long time. Right or wrong? No, you're right. It was, it, Kiki Baki, when I say for a long time, I mean they they fell out and you know they they fell out. That's fine. He was he was he, he was no longer VP for a while, right or wrong? Kibaki didn't even walk out. Kibaki mm. is one of those, and that's the reason why they had they, there was there was there was some very nasty because names. The reason the reason there was some I, very nasty names you know is, that they had for him. Yes, because him he stayed. He stayed even when people were fighting for yes. multipartism. He wasn't there. Him, he showed up. Yelling with chakula, iko kwa meza, and then and then he showed up. And 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 understand understand where 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 you're trying where you're trying to bring this. Where am I? Why? I understand where you're trying to bring this. You're trying to saying that, that that there was a separation between when Kibaki left uh when Kibaki left uh the Moi government and when he became president. But the reality is that this guy spent um you know like uh since independence. He was a minister before and, independence. And, and, yes, and, agreed. And and he spent, you know, like since 1978, when Moi became president, mm -hmm. he spent actually he was in Gava since 12, 1950. He spent like 12, 13 years, you know, like as Moi's vice president yes. and, and the finance minister. Yes. So, but my point is, but until, despite 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 all that, even while he was with him, even in 1992. You know, like while he was running for president. Yes. You know, so let's Democratic let's assume. Democratic Party. Let's assume. Let's assume Kibaki won the 1992 uh, election, There's despite a... having just come off of Moi's government, he would still have been a very different person from Moi, despite being 12 years with him. That's what I'm trying to say.